Hello everyone, this is Jorge Martin, coordinator of the Z Guide, and I'm going to try to show you a little bit how to use the web. As you know, Z Guide is a tool to explore contemporary architecture in the context of the development of our current cities. In order to achieve this goal, we have designed a tool with two different parts. A phone application, which helps you explore the city while being in the street, and a web, which I'm showing you now, where you can explore the world from the map. In the web, as in Google Earth, we can move the map, transitioning from a global vision to the scale of a street. In this case, I will zoom out into the city of Barcelona. This way, we can start to draw relations between the local and the global scale, putting particular works of architecture into its local and global context. The works that you can see on the map correspond to the images that you can see, that, that you can see in the bottom of the web. When passing over one of the icons, you can see an image and the name of the project. On the top right side, we can see a cloud of tags that correspond to the works that are shown on the map, providing a new layer of reading. As we see, when we, we, when we move to a different place in the map, the cloud of tags also change, giving us an idea of the kind of architecture that we can find in different neighborhoods or different cities. We can also select one of the tags, activating this way only the corresponding projects. For example, we could press the tag post-industrial post spaces, a very common one in this neighborhood, and we could zoom out to see other spaces of this kind as, at the scale of the city or at the, at the scale of Europe or even at the scale of the world to see if this is a trend in the global, in the global scene. When we press the icon of the work, we access the profile of the building, where we can see images that include plans and sometimes even images of the process of design. In addition to giving information, each work included is also an opportunity for the user to, uh, to express its views or share personal stories in relation to the project, and also give his or her personal rating of the work. Infer information for the visit is also available when possible. The, us the user can also share the project, the project in social media and can also add it to her personal lists. For example, preparing um, a visit to a city. We can also activate the satellite image, which can help us understand better how the building contributes to its environment. There is also the possibility of filtering the works by authors, years, typology, tags, rating, and visitability. So for example, we could select the typology public spaces and see how public space has been designed in the last 10 years, for example. I'm going to leave it here to make it brief. I hope you enjoy the tool in the future. Thank you very much for your attention and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.